Hi, I'm your state representative, Thomas Albert. I've been getting a lot of questions about the House proposed budget, especially how it relates to road funding and to the school aid fund. I thought it'd be easiest to try and explain this through a, a few charts. And uh, just to be clear, I'm rounding the numbers just because it's a pretty complex topic and I'm trying to make it as simple and as understandable as possible. That being said, let's jump right into it. So, what's going on with the gas tax? And does all that money go to the roads? Well, right now we have a sales tax on gas and it's 6%. Of that sales tax, about 75% of it goes toward the school aid fund, and that's about $600 million. You have about 11% that goes to the general fund. That's money that the legislature has a lot of discretion on spending. 10% goes to the local revenue sharing. Then you have 4%, which goes to what's called the uh, Comprehensive Transportation Fund. And this adds up to about $800 million. Now, the House proposed budget makes a lot of changes to the school aid fund. And I've been getting a lot of questions, people saying, it looks like you're cutting a lot of money out of the school aid fund. Well, if you look at the big picture, we're actually adding money. So uh, let me walk through how this works. So in the K through 12 budget, we have about 13 0.3 billion dollars that goes toward our schools. But what we're going to do, what we proposed, was we're going to take 500 million dollars from the school aid fund that goes to higher ed, uh, and we're going to take that out of the school aid fund. So higher ed, uh, that funding is going to come out of the general fund. So now we're looking at plus 500 million dollars. Now what we have is we have this gas tax change. So we have this here. Well, now we're down $100 million. So that's the gas. We're cutting that out. So that's minus $600 million. Gas tax. However, we're also going to make one more change. We're going to add $140 million. So it's adding $140. And this, this deals with a vote we had late last year. Um, it's, it's called the Wayfair decision. Essentially what we're doing, though, to make it uh, short and simple is we're restoring that money and uh, because of this income tax shift we're going to add 140 million so that's plus 140 and we'll call it income tax shift if you add all this together what do you get plus 40 million dollars so uh, just so everyone's clear we're not cut, proposing to cut any money out of the school aid fund just to make that even more clear let's compare the current budget versus what the house proposal is so currently this year we're spending $13.1 billion on the school aid fund for K-12 education. The House is proposing 13.3, so it's a plus $200 million increase. Uh, if you look at higher ed, some people are like, well, you cut $500 million in higher ed there. No, we shifted that money to the general fund. So currently we spend about half a billion out of the school aid fund to uh, higher ed, and we spend $1.0 uh, billion out of the general fund. So it's about 1.5. This is simply going to zero for the school aid fund out of higher ed. This is going to about 1.5. Uh, a little bit of rounding going on here, but uh, it's a plus $11 million increase for uh, higher ed. If you look at roads, this past current budget, um, it's $5 billion. We're increasing it to 5.4 of ongoing funding. Uh, this $5 uh, billion right here uh, a decent chunk of that is one-time funding. That's why it doesn't quite look like such a substantial jump, but the main thing is that money there is ongoing, so it's a really substantial change for the state of Michigan. So in summary, we're spending more on roads, we're spending more on education, and we're ending the shell game. Thank you for your time, and if you ever have any questions, please feel free to email or call my office.